Starting with the graph of f of x equals two raised to the power of x, we want to write the equation of the graph that results from the following. Part a shifts f of x three units up, b shifts f of x four units right, c reflects f of x about the x-axis, and d reflects f of x about the y-axis. So for a quick review, for vertical shifts, if d is greater than zero, y equals f of x plus d would shift f of x up d units, and if we have y equals f of x minus d, this would shift f of x down d units. So if we consider the basic square root function graphed here in blue, where we have y equals square root x, if we have y equals the square root of x plus two, notice how the plus two is not underneath the square root, this would shift our function up two units. And if we have y equals the square root of x minus two, this would shift the basic square root function down two units. So going back to our example, because we want to shift f of x up three units, we want y equals f of x plus three, which means our equation would be y equals two raised to the power of x and then plus three. Next, we want to shift f of x four units right. So let's review horizontal shifts of the graph. When c is greater than zero, y equals f of the quantity x plus c shifts f of x left c units. And if we have y equals f of the quantity x minus c, this will shift f of x right c units. So again, looking at the basic parent function here, graphed in blue, y equals the square root of x, if we graph y equals the square root of the quantity x plus two, notice here the plus two is under the square root, this would shift the basic function left two units. And if we graph y equals the square root of the quantity x minus two, this would shift the basic square root function right two units. Notice the direction of the horizontal shift might be the opposite of what you were thinking. If we have minus a constant, it's shifted right. If we have plus a constant, it's shifted left. So if we want to shift our function right four units, we want y equals f of the quantity x minus four, which means our equation would be y equals two now we're substituting x minus four for x, so we'd have two raised to the power of x minus four. So to enter this into online homework, you do want to be careful. This would be y equals two raised to the power of in parentheses x minus four. These parentheses indicate that the exponent is x minus four. Now we want to reflect f of x across the x-axis and then the y-axis. So for this review, Let's take a look at this slide. Again, if we start with the basic square root function graphed here in blue, to reflect f of x across the x-axis, we would let our new function g of x equal the opposite of f of x, or in this case, negative square root x. Notice in this case, we will be changing the sign of the y-coordinates reflecting the graph across the x-axis. If we want to reflect f of x across the y-axis, we would need to change the sign of the x-coordinates. So our new function h of x would be equal to f of negative x, or in this case, the square root of negative x. So again, reflecting across the x-axis, we change the sign of the function values, or y-values, and reflecting across the y-axis, we change the sign of the x-coordinates, so we substitute negative x for x. So if we want to reflect across the x-axis, again our goal is to change the sign of the function values or y values. 
So we would have y equals the opposite of f of x, which in our case would be y equals the opposite of two raised to the power of x. And then finally to reflect the graph across the y-axis, we want to change the sign of the x-coordinates. So we would have y equals f of negative x, which in our case would be y equals two raised to the power of negative x. Let's go ahead and check this on our graphing calculator. So we're going to press y equals. Let's enter the parent function or basic function into y1. So we'll press two raised to the power of x. Now we'll go to the far left by pressing the left arrow. Press enter once. Notice how this is going to graph our parent function bold or with a thick graph. Now we want to go to y2. So let's press the right arrow and then enter. And now we'll make sure this graph would be shifted three units up. So we have two raised to the power of x and then plus the constant three. Now to make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six. So there's the parent function and there's our graph shifted up three units. So that's correct. Let's go ahead and check B. So press Y equals, go down to Y2 and we're going to clear this and enter two raise the power of, in parentheses, x minus four. This should shift the graph right four units. So press graph. Again, there's the parent function or basic function, and there's the graph that's shifted right four units. That looks good. Let's go back to y equals. Let's clear out y two, and now we're gonna enter negative two raise the power of x. And this should reflect the graph across the x-axis. And notice that it does. And then finally for part D, we're gonna go down to y2 and press clear, enter two, raise the power of, in parentheses, negative x. Close parenthesis and graph. This should reflect the graph across the y-axis which it does. So this does verify that our work is correct. I hope you found this explanation helpful.